discuss Thuri Day today. I am going to continue with the nervous system in humans chapter. <coughs> Excuse me. According to ICC syllabus class eight. Okay. So in my last video, I was discussing about the neurons, then the nerve uh, fibers, then the nerve, and now I'm come to, um, I've come to the nervous system. Okay. So we know that organs uh, constitute the uh, uh, different type of I mean uh, similar organs co constitute a organ system okay so so uh, this nervous system is constituted by nerve uh, uh, nerves okay and the nerves are constituted by nerve fibers and nerve fibers are constituted by neurons so uh, we ca have come to the nervous system okay the now the nervous system in humans is divided into three parts so one is first is cns that is central nervous system second is pns that is peripheral nervous system and ans that is automatic nervous autonomic nervous system okay now uh, uh, cns that is central nervous system is constituted by brain and spinal cord okay so the central nervous system it consists of brain and spinal cord it controls it, it is the control center of all the body functions it is the site of all information which is processing in our body and this site this cns is responsible for processing every sensation and thought which arises in our body now we come to peripheral nervous system the peripheral nervous system comprises of the nerves which carry impulses to and from the cns from the central nervous system carries impulses to the central nervous system that is from the sense organs to the brain or the spinal cord and also the nerves which carry the impulses uh, from that is the responses from the uh, or the messages which are carried from the central nervous system that is from the brain or the spinal cord to the effector organs or the, the muscles which will act accordingly okay the, the, there are two sets of nerves that is cranial and the spinal nerves for this peripheral nervous system now we come to the autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system controls most of the internal mechanisms of our body which are beyond our conscious control okay which are beyond our conscious control these uh, type of mechanisms internal mechanisms are controlled by our autonomic nervous system it coordinates the smooth muscles glands and heart muscles these are not in our control these are involuntary actions which are taking place so these um, uh, uh, actions are controlled by the autonomic nervous system two systems come under this autonomic nervous system that is sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system okay this controls two different sets of responses and work opposite to each other sympathetic uh, nervous system dilates for example this is an example that says sympathetic nervous system dilates the pupil as we see a strong light no uh, as we sting a dim light then our pupil is dilated pupil is dilated by the sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system constricts it okay so these two action these two uh, systems act uh, against each other they are opposite to each other then we come to the central nervous system the brain okay that is, is the main control center of the nervous system highly it's a highly developed organ which is present in our body and this uh, therefore it is situated in a brain box brain cage or you can say it is called the skull the cranium of the skull okay the it this uh, brain weighs about 1200 grams to 1400 grams and it constitutes about two percent of the body weight okay it is enveloped this brain is enveloped it is covered by three layers 
called three membranes this is known as called meninges this is called this membrane is called meninges and the space between the meninges three layers i told you three membranes are there so between the meninges uh, there uh, uh, there's a fluid okay this is known as cerebrospinal fluid this fluid nourishes the brain and also it protects the brain from shocks by absorbing them okay now this brain consumes 20% of the oxygen which is supplied through the blood 20% of oxygen which is uh, uh, which is the body needs that is supplied throughout the body the that 20% is consumed by the brain now the brain is divided into three parts cerebrum the main part cerebellum the, the middle part the upper part is the cerebrum middle part is the cerebellum and the lower portion which is continued as the spinal cord that is known as med medulla oblongata okay so this is known also known as the brain stem okay so from the picture you can see the yellow part that is the cerebrum okay the green part that is the cerebellum and the pink part the violet part you can say that is the medulla and which is continued uh, downwards as the spinal cord this is covered by the skull okay uh, this is uh, this is uh, this is bony cover is the skull the below it it is covered by three membranes this is known as meninges and between the meninges there is a fluid blue colored fluid you can see that is the cerebrospinal fluid okay so this is the structure of the brain now we come to the cerebrum part by part i come i'll come so first is the cerebrum the uppermost and the largest and the most prominent part is the cerebrum part it is highly convoluted in appearance you can see lots of ridges and grooves in the cerebrum from the picture you have seen the pink part the uh, pink part that is uh, it is totally uh, convoluted okay it, this increases the surface area of the brain so that it can accommodate more number of nerve cells okay now this uh, cerebrum is divided into two hemispheres right and the left hemisphere see from the uh, picture below the second picture you can see that the hemisphere that is divided into two hemispheres right and the left and there's a deep furrow in between okay the cell bodies of all the neurons are concentrated in the outer portion okay the cell bodies are concentrated in the outer portion that is the gray matter and inner portion of the uh, lies the axons which is the white matter so if you cut the cross section of the brain you will see that uh, the outer portion is the gray matter and uh, the inner portion is the white matter the gray matter is consists of the cell body that is the cyton of the new nerve cells and the uh inner portion contains the axons of the nerve cells which is the white matter this controls all the voluntary movements of our body the cerebrum controls all the body uh, voluntary movements of our body this is responsible for the sensation of pain temperature touch sight sound taste smell etc now it controls mental activities like memory intelligence thinking and reasoning okay next we come to the cerebellum part now the cerebellum part is small it is egg shaped lobe okay it is located at the base of the cerebrum okay so you can see from the upper picture is the blue colored is the cerebrum then the yellow colored is the cerebellum okay the lower portion shows the cerebrum the leaf like structure that is the egg shaped lobe small egg shaped lobe that is the cerebellum okay now it does not have convolutions like the cerebrum it does not have these convolutions but has many furrows lots of furrows are there it helps in muscle coordination and balance of our body okay it helps in 
the when we say when we walk uh, uh, along uh, if a person is alcoholic i mean if he has if he's drunk then he will lose his balance because the cerebellum is not functioning properly so uh, it it helps in muscle coordination and also the balance of our body next we come to medulla oblongata see from the picture above picture the green portion is the medulla oblongata and the lower picture is total the ablo medulla oblongata it's a picture okay so the lower part of the brain that is the medulla oblongata and located at the base of the skull it is known as the brain stem or the stem of the brain it emerges out from the base of the brain and is continued as the spinal cord in the posterior region the posterior region i told you that this medulla oblongata continues as the spinal cord it controls breathing heartbeat coughing sneezing and other involuntary functions okay so i'll uh, this is uh, completed the brain is completed now i'll uh, next uh, in my next video i'll start with the spinal cord and the reflex action what is the remaining chapter okay remaining of the chapter so please go through this if you have any doubt please do write in the comment box and i have also a facebook account you can also write in there and uh, please do if you like the video please do press the like button and also share with your friends okay so that uh, and also so that i i become uh, uh, it creates some enthusiasm in me and i can produce you some more interesting videos for you that can help you in your studies and if you are a new viewer to my channel and not subscribed yet please do subscribe to get the notification of my next video thank you